out to the NBA. How difficult was that decision? How long did it take you? Uh, it didn't take me that long, but it, 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 there was some a lot of consideration in that. I'm just where we are today is, is what the best thing to talk about right now. This is really great to be a part of this. Uh, you know, we got the fifth pick in the draft. We got the 26th pick in the draft. We're in great shape. Was good it? returning players. We're in great shape. What was it about the, this job in particular that kind of piqued your interest in? Oh, I think that just what, once I met, uh, the, uh, you know, I, I watched some film on them, a lot of films on the great young talent, and then meeting the, the, the support staff, uh, meeting Dan Gilbert, those were all like, made this, the, a tough decision much easier. What made, now the right, what made now the right time to leave from you? You know, there's never a good time to leave, you know, and uh, you can make a couple choices. You can leave too early maybe, or you can leave too late. You never know when to leave, and, and, and it was... Uh, I think this was this was an opportunity that has so much potential. It was too too difficult. It was too difficult to pass up. It, it was the right thing to do. What intrigues you about this roster? Oh, I, I think first of all, with, with the, some great help from our front office, we're going to shape it. Uh, we had good young players. Uh, Kevin Love today. You know, got got some guys with a lot of experience, especially with winning. I talked with all the players today, and there's there's just. I feel a good karma right now that last year, although it was difficult for all, we all learned a lot, and, and everybody's going to grow from it and attack next year with a lot of, just a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of spirit, um, a lot of optimism. Who has reached out to you with NBA advice? I got great advice today from uh, from one former NBA coach. I won't identify him. He said, my advice is don't don't get too much advice. Yes. <laughs> but I have, I have, yeah. I've heard from 12. I have quite a few uh, uh, contact, contacts in the NBA and head, head coaches that I know fairly well, and they all reached out and said, you're going to love it. You're, the, you know, uh, Brad, Brad Stevens was just said the NBA just got better today. You know, it's just like really complimentary things. Guys that have been in the college, uh, Jimmy Boylan and Brad, that have been in the pros and just I'm going to love, you know, this coaching basketball and really getting to coach basketball. What do you view as the biggest adjustment at this level? Uh, I, I, I don't, you know, I grind so hard that, that it's going that all the time. I don't, I think the adjustment is going to, I'm, I'm going to have to learn quickly. I'm going to have to really learn the NBA uh, language and, uh, and, re, and just obviously re, begin this relationship with these players, build this culture that is rock solid. Did you know Dan Gilbert? I didn't know him at all. No, Michigan State guy, you know, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. And, uh, but once we met, I think we hit it off right away. Coach, people have been talking about the number one pick in this draft, but what intrigues you about the talent at number five? Well, I, I think this is a pretty good draft. And, and throughout the whole first round, you're at five or 26, we're going to get two good players. So, uh, but, I, you know, I've gone down the, the list and I've played against many of those guys or I've watched them on TV or I saw them play in AAU. And so uh, it's really exciting to, to be in that opportunity. They have the fifth pick in the draft. You know, you're not, you know, ho hopefully the only way we're there again is if we, uh, because we traded and, and, and got that pick from somebody else, uh, but we're going to take advantage of it now. Are there any things about college basketball, the way it's changed with so with transfers, with guys leaving early that kind of turned you off that to the game? The I think that's for a discussion another time. I, I'm just really happy to be here right now. You know, I'm trying to get my feet on the floor. There's a lot of things, so we, we probably can talk about that later on. I saw a clip from your son where he said you were ready for the next challenge. <laughs> I mean, I assume that's true, but what about this challenge? I mean, was I think intriguing. That's, I, I think just the fact that this, it, we're in great, we're in position to be in position. In other words, we got good young talent, we got a great front office, and now you just combine everything with, with, with really good, uh, what I sense is really good uh, teammates on this team. And now we're just going to all grow together. And, and I'm going to lean on a lot of people for experience, but we're going to make it happen. Can you, can you share anything with us on um, your conversations with players today, maybe any anecdote, something that was interesting or something Kevin said? No, I, I, I was really, I, what I was really impressed with and was striking was their enthusiasm. That they were like, Coach, I can't wait. I can't wait to meet you. We can't wait to get together. I thought that was a great sign that, you know, uh, that we would coach it. The, the ages of so many of these players are what I'm used to coaching. And, and, and none of them, I think I said to one of them might be around, I called him an old head at 28. He didn't like that very much, you know? And I said, no, that's not, you're in your prime. You're in your prime. But compared to the others, 
yeah, I, I mean, rely on the old head. So uh, we'll get to, we'll get through all that stuff, and I, I'm just excited. Is that like a conference? Is that like a conference? Is that 